Hi. Welcome to PackCast, a podcast where you don't need to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom Grassi, and we need to talk. I'm Tom Grassi, a New York City comedian and diehard Green Bay Packers fan for almost 20 years. In 2015, I created a podcast where each week I talk to fans from opposing teams to share their story and to get yelled at for about an hour for being a Packers fan. Last year, I met amazing people and went to amazing places. And this year, I'm ready to do it all over again. Make no mistake about it, I will be remembered as a Packer. Enjoy the show. Uh, so the Packers have uh, have dropped their second straight. They are now four and four, in third place in the NFC North. Um, and this is this is bad. This is this is pretty bad. So the Packers lost 31-26 against the Colts. Uh, we were outplayed in every single quarter of the game. We had two quick touchdown scores at the end of the fourth quarter. Colts are playing prevent defense. It's great for Rodgers. Um, I, I don't see that as... I don't, I don't really see that as a silver lining. Um, let Let's talk about this because... This needs to be a real conversation in that as soon as I, this game was done, you saw Packer fans screaming everywhere for McCarthy to be fired, Thompson to be fired, just kind of clean house, let them all go. Um, and the, the Mike McCarthy conversation has has been here has been here for a while. Um and, and it, it picked up after 2014, after the loss to the Seahawks in the championship game. It picked up again last year, but again, we kind of put the excuse on the fact that Jordy's not here anymore. And now it's it's really come to a head. And it's been it's been worse than what I have ever seen during the McCarthy era of just, just cutting this guy. Um Let's let's get to that um, in, in a minute. Let's let's look at the game super quick. Rodgers twenty six for forty three throws almost three hundred yards, two ninety seven, three TDs, one pick. Um, Montgomery, uh, I mean Rodgers, <laughs> Rodgers the number two rusher. He he rushed for six times, forty three yards. Um, he looked okay, but I mean the offense was stagnant for three quarters, three and a half quarters if you want to be technical. Um, it's we we couldn't move the ball against a. It, and Indy's defense is not good. It's really, really not good. Um, Randall Cobb, who I thought was going to be a scratch for the game, wound up showing up in like the third quarter. Um, Montgomery had another good day. He rushed seven times, uh, 53 yards. Every time he rushed the ball, though, he looked good. Um, I know that they limited his reps due to an illness, that kidney thing that was bothering him last week. Uh, Nelson, 7 for 94. He got his TD. Adams, again, 4 for 41, another TD. Uh, Richard Rodgers finally getting into the mix as well, uh, 6 for 64. Um, Jeff Janis, I mean, has a, has a huge drop. There was a rainbow pass that was beautifully thrown by Rodgers, and it literally just fell off of Janis's fingertips, um, and he wasn't able to haul it in. Um, and so Janice, Janice, who over the off season, Packers fans love this guy, especially for the work that he did in the Arizona Cardinal games, catching the two big Hail Mary passes. Um, and you know, I, I'm not, I'm not on the bandwagon of cut Janice. I mean, the guy, his, he struggles a lot of running routes. Um, but I think, you know, he's, he's a developing wide receiver. You, you can't just cut him off of a couple of games, um, I just don't think I don't think it's necessary. But if he it, but but if he fails to perform in the next coming weeks um by the end of the season, I mean, yeah, you have guys like Trevor Davis, um, you know, or Geronimo, you know, it, it's 
you, there's a lot of competition for wide receiver on the Packers team. So if he doesn't pick it up, yeah, you got you got to get rid of him. Um, the Colts protected luck. Our pass rush was not there. We got to him two times. Of course, we had Clay Matthews out again, uh, which was a huge setback for us. Rollins did come back, which was good. Um, but Clinton Dix had a huge game. He had half a sack uh, and two interceptions. Of course, what is really going to be focused on the fact that he couldn't bring luck down on the third and ten uh, in the fourth quarter. But I mean that that game it, you can't you can't blame Dix. You can't blame. Um, you, you can't blame it all on the fourth quarter. You just really can't because when you get dominated in all facets of the game in which you they ran all over us, they threw all over us. Andrew Luck had a great game. I mean, kudos to him. He threw two picks, but, you know, it, to not score on those drives and to just constantly, constantly stall when you're on offense, it's a bad thing, um, and it's something that's not going to be able to be maintained. And if you can't move the ball on the Colts defense, I think it says something about your offense. And of course, right afterwards, um, Rodgers during the press conference was calling for more energy for his team, see that they were deflated. And I mean, listen, the game didn't start well. You had a 99-yard TD uh, kick return from the Colts. So I understand, but you know, as he said, you know, you're you're paid to do this job. This is your job. You have to go out there and you got to play. Um, so he kind of called the team out for not having uh, the energy. But McCarthy came out today saying that they they thought there was good energy. I don't know if there's kind of butting heads I mean we've seen this before um and I don't know if it's gonna make him better I mean there's like there's there's so many things coming out and people assuming that you know McCarthy and Rodgers aren't getting along and you know Rodgers is taking shots at the coaching staff um it's it's tough because the Packers are 9 and 11 in their last 20 games which is a horrendous stat it's a really bad stat. It's very difficult to win in the National Football League. I've said this many, many times. But with the amount of talent that you have on this team, um, it, it, it seems like, and this has been a complaint for quite some time, that we're wasting Aaron Rodgers. Now, here's here's the defense of Mike McCarthy. Here's the defense. In that I think he's a good coach. I don't think he's I don't think he's a, an amazing oh my goodness like greatest of all time coach. I think he's a good coach. I think, you know, he he fixes a lot. He's a very let me put it this way. He's a very rushing the ball kind of balanced offense kind of coach. And when you're a head coach, you literally take all of the heat and sometimes you take, you know, some of the the benefits of victory as well. And that fans, since McCarthy is out there and he's on that platform of being the head coach of the Green Bay Packers, all the criticism goes towards him, all of it. And and this is this some of it is is rightfully so. You know, you have the conservative play calling. Um, you have like the, the weird weird game plans that they come in with. Um, and in and in the run run pass, of course. And and it's lo- it's flat out lost us games on several occasions. However, um, I don't I don't think it's fair to say that this is all on Mike McCarthy. If you throw another coach in this situation, I don't I don't know if you have different results. Maybe we win a couple more games, maybe we don't. I honestly don't know, but I think it's I think it's very rash for Packer fans to be like, "Yes, we need to cut him right now." And it's such a knee-jerk reaction league in that last week I was singing praises of that like, "Listen, even though we lost, it was a close game, the offense looked good." And then it's like, "Okay, we need to cut everybody and we, we need to fire McCarthy." Um, you know, it, cause what happens if they, I mean, I hope this happens. What if they go on an eight game winning streak and they wind up winning? Like, is that, is that, is that acceptable that, you know, we, we were talking about cutting him and listen, he's a head coach. He gets paid to do this too. He gets paid to deal with this as well, but it, it's something to be said that there's a reason why none of us are football GMs or presidents. We're not Mark Murphy. Um, and it, and it's a good thing that we're not, um, I think that it's it's an it's an interesting it's an interesting reaction. I understand frustrations. I have frustrations as a Packer fan because I don't want to see this Hall of Fame quarterback be wasted. But then again, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about how maybe he wasn't a Hall of Fame quarterback, and now people were all over Rodgers and how far he's declined and this, that, and the other thing. And you can't blame that on coaching. Okay, so it's one of those things that you can't blame the quarterback for being the problem one week. 
and then blame the coach for the quarterback having trouble the next week. It just doesn't work like that. Is it you need to give him more people to throw to? Is it just you just do 2011 and essentially you just throw the ball until his arm falls off? I mean, we've tried that and, it, and it's also not worked. You know, when receivers can't run routes, they can't get open. Um, Rodgers missing throws. I mean, everyone was all over Rodgers and then, you know, now we're on McCarthy again. And and it it goes to show that it's a knee-jerk reaction league. People, NFL.com came out with teams that should panic. The Packers are on there. I mean, listen, it, we're four and four. We're we're like a game and a half back from the the division because thankfully the NFC North is a dumpster fire this year. The Lions are coming back, but they they beat the Vikings in overtime, and I watched that game, and the Vikings look terrible. They've dropped three straight now, and so it, it's going to be wide open. We have three games coming up, uh, road games that are extremely important. We're n- go- we're gonna have to somehow find a way to win. We're playing the Titans, a very winnable game, but again, you have no idea what team is going to show up. We're also incredibly injured. We have people out uh, that are huge playmakers, and you know, it's it, it, you can call it an excuse all you want, but you have to acknowledge that we literally don't have a running back. You know, we we don't have our corners. You know, Randall's out. Shields has been out since like the second game. It's that these are these are key people in the defense and the offense, and it's easy to say, all right, next man up, but there's some people that you can't replace. You saw it with Jordy last year. So, I mean, I think it's just been this perfect storm of fans are frustrated because they're obviously seeing the Packers not play well. This happened all year all year last year. It's continued into this year, so now we're at 500, and now the frustrations are starting to boil over. So it's at this point, and I want to get your opinion too. When do you fire Mike McCarthy? Do you do you fire him right now? Do you have an expectation for this season? Okay, if he doesn't win the if he doesn't reach the championship game, you fire him. I mean, it's it, it gets ridiculous to the point like, okay, the guy makes it to the championship game and then they lose. He's gonna get a lot of crap for that too. It's 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 not fair, but at the same time, we're paying them, and this is the job that he has. But it's not fair for us to throw every single kind of accusation, uh, complaint towards him. Because while I don't think that McCarthy is a amazing head coach that is one of the greatest of all times, I, I can't I can't in good conscience pin all the problems on him. Um, I just don't I just don't think it's fair. Um, but right now, I mean, look, let's kind of look ahead. Is that something has to give? So either the Packers are gonna they're gonna blow it, they're gonna split the last few games, they're going to go on a winning streak. Something's going to happen. And I mean, do I think they might cut McCarthy? I mean, let's put it this way. I think it's gonna have to take missing the playoffs and continuously doing bad these last eight games for McCarthy to have his job in jeopardy. I, I that's right that's what I honestly think is going to have to happen, but they go to a wild card or they go to a divisional game, I don't see his job uh, at risk. And that might frustrate some of you, and I understand why it would frustrate some of you, is that we constantly think that we are a Super Bowl team. I think we have the talent to be a Super Bowl team. It's just, this is, it's a rough year. It's a rough game. It's not easy to win. You're going up against Andrew. Andrew Luck is a good quarterback. You know, they have a good offense. Their defense is crap, but they, you know, they, they did their job. They did their job yesterday. So it's, um... It's tough. It's definitely tough. Um, but I, I can see that if if things do not get better, um, it's going to be tough to be a Mike McCarthy supporter for the next season. It's going to be tough. Um, but we'll we'll see what winds up happening there. We're four and four right now. We are we're right in the middle of the NFC playoff race. There's no reason why. We can't win this division still, even with these these two losses. Um, I am not going to panic because it's not going to do anything. So I suggest you don't panic either because it's not going to help anybody either. Um, but yeah, we're frustrated. We are definitely frustrated. And I completely feel your frustrations and I reciprocate them to you as well. Um, but we'll see. This season is going to be very interesting because... Even if the Packers bomb, I mean McCarthy's gonna be let go, and we'll see kind of who. We'll kind of see if you if you get your wish. If you don't want McCarthy being your head coach, you be careful what you wish for. Just that's all I'm saying is that head coaches they don't grow on trees. You know, it's 
and there, and people have been saying like Josh McDaniels and, and things like that. There's no guarantee that whoever we bring in is going to turn the team around. So just keep that in mind. Um, this has been a very somber episode. Uh, as you can see, I don't think anyone in Packerland is in a very good mood. Hopefully we see that on Sunday and they just go and destroy the Titans. Um, but we'll see. You can always find me at TomGrossiComedy.com, T-O-M-G-R-O-S-S-I Comedy, or at Tom Grossi Comedy on Twitter. Check out PatCast, P-A-C-K-A-S-T on iTunes, SoundCloud, and of course our Tuesday episode on YouTube, which has been doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you on Thursday when we interview the Titans fan. Uh, that will be on SoundCloud and iTunes. Check that out on Thursday. Please subscribe. Uh, who do you want to see? Do you want to see McCarthy fired? I mean, let me know in the comments. Do you want to see him fired? If you do, who would you replace him with? Um, or are we kind of just all blowing this out of proportion? I think I think your I think your complaints are validated. I definitely do. I don't know if it's enough to fi- to fire the guy. And you know what? Listen, I might be the guy with egg on my face with that. I'd be totally willing to accept that if we never win another Super Bowl, Rodgers' career gets quote unquote wasted. You know, and maybe a new head coach can do us some good. I think we'll we'll have some answers to that by the end of the season. I'm Tom Grassi. Thanks for watching. And as always, please go pack go.